Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I am going to be introducing the new Tor Edge Hot Launch C521 irons. So I'm excited to take a look at some numbers and hit a few shots with these irons. But first I'm just going to talk about the technical details with regards to these clubs. So first, these clubs are you know high-tech distance irons. They've got enhanced forgiveness for very you know competitive golfers. Um, so first thing to touch on is the undercut cavity. So this essentially has moved more CG back from maximum power and stability, and this provided like really extremely high distance gains. Uh, it also has a fairly wide sole design, which is actually 15% wider, um, which actually lowers the CG even more, provides you know a little bit more bounce on the club, creating better turf interaction. Um, and also very, very clean, clean strikes from any kind of turf. Um, it also has a chamfered top line. So the chamfered top line increases you know, your, your face height on the club and thickness for superior forgiveness and power. So it's definitely you know, evident looking down at it. It's a relatively thick top line on the club. Uh, it also has a toll weighting design. This really improves the sweet spot on the club uh, for consistent distance and feel on every single golf shot. Um, it has 431 stainless steel for a fairly soft feel. So, golf shafts. So, I'm holding right now the KBS Max 80 golf shaft. That is the steel golf shaft offering. You can also get this club in the Odilla Rogue Graphite golf shaft as well. So, this club comes from 4-iron all the way through to lob wedge. So, 4-iron through pitching wedge, gap wedge, sand wedge, and lob wedge. You can order them exactly how you like, so you don't have to get every single club in the bag. They're essentially $69.99 per club. For a set, for example, a four through pitching wedge, you're looking at about $490. Now this also comes with Tor Edge's 48 hour um, custom delivery guarantee and also their lifetime warranty there as well. So I'm gonna test this club. Got the seven iron out here. It's got 31 degrees on it. I'm excited to test and take a look at some numbers. So first I want to touch on the level of forgiveness with the C521 irons. There are a couple of swings in there that I didn't catch the iron perfectly. If we take a look at my smash factor, for example, you can see how I have a range from about 141 all the way up to 148. But the consistency really impressed me. If you take a look at my carry distance, it ranged from 181.3 to 190.8. 181.3 was the one that I got fairly heavy, shot one, but it was still within 10 yards. So on average, I was carrying about 186 on average. I was very, very impressed with the level of forgiveness with these irons here too. So yes, they are a little bit more of a gave proven iron than I would typically play, um, but they're not so much jacked up, strong, lofted irons that are supposed to go really, really far. They give plenty of stop and power plenty of spin to get the ball to stop on the green. So speaking of ball speed, on average I was getting about 127.5, giving me a smash factor of 144. That is very, very good for a 7-iron. Uh, I was launching it at 18 degrees, which is kind of right in my optimal window there as well. I want to take a look across here and take a look at the curve and height. So this is where playing a forgiving club like the C521 is very, very important. So if we take a look here and take a look at the curve, on average I was curving them being at the club about 10 feet to the left. I like to play a gentle little draw, so I'm very, very happy with that. But the height, 114 feet in the air. Landing angle, exactly 50 degrees on, on the ground. So 
very, very good results with the C521 irons. Looking down at them, I can definitely see a little bit of offset looking at them. Definitely leaning towards a little bit more of a game improvement club for the player that needs a little bit of help to get the ball up in the air. Maybe doesn't have the fastest of swing speeds, which is a good option with regards to the KBX, uh, KBS Max 80 golf shaft and also the Adila Rogue graphite shafts. Those are going to be great options for the players there as, there as well. But I also love the fact that the lofts aren't jacked. Well, sometimes I see manufacturers jack their lofts to really try and pick up distance, but if they forget a player needs to get the ball up in the air. And I believe that that undercut cavity is going to be a great option for a player to try and get that ball up in the air with a little bit of forgiveness there as well. So definitely a very forgiving club. Give the thumbs up to the C521 irons. Speaking of thumbs up, if you could give us a thumbs up today for today's video and also subscribe to our channel, we have plenty of great content coming your way in, in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.